Adam Hamilton is a United Methodist pastor in a very large church in Kansas City area. And in 2018, he wrote the book, Unafraid, Living with Courage and Hope in Uncertain Times. We listened to his CD while traveling in Georgia and, and Missouri. And uh, I want to use some of his work this week in my devotionals from his leader's guide. He said, if you Google fear, you have access to 600 million websites in just 0 0.98 seconds. Huh? Whenever I watch the news, it seems like the headline, breaking news is always bad news. So what's the good news in the midst of this pandemic, racial unrest and such upheaval? You know I'm gonna find the answers in the Bible. We began with numbers. There in the 13th chapter, we have the report of the spies, the Israelite spies going over into the promised land. And then he came back to report to Moses and Aaron, picking up with the 31st verse. But the men who had gone up with them said, we cannot attack these people. They are stronger than we are. And they spread across the Israelites and a bad report from the land they had explored. They said, the land we explored devours those living in it. All the people we saw there were giant size. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. See, those fears initially kept them from entering the promised land because of 10 pessimistic spies. But fortunately, two optimistic spies assured them that God was going to be with them and because of God, they in fact crossed over and they took the promised land. Later, the prophet Isaiah, speaking there in the 41st chapter, said these words, beginning with the 10th verse. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Did we hear that? God is with us and will help us and uphold us with his victorious right hand. Rick Warren of the Saddleback Church wrote that God said, fear not, 365 times in the Bible. That's one for every day of the year. Jesus himself said, do not be afraid three times in yesterday's gospel lesson. But how do we do that? Like always, there are many earthly reasons for us to fear today. But when Jesus said, do not be afraid, it is an imperative from his lips and therefore should be taken as a command to be adhered. It's because he's overcome the world and all its viruses and prejudices. Adam's acronym for fear is four steps we're going to explore this week first f face your fears with faith second e examine your assumptions in the light of the facts a attack your anxieties with action and r release your cares to god so let's do that let's pray Lord, we know that fear can be a God-given emotion when we have something specific to fear. Help us to not live in a constant state of fear, but be unafraid with courage and hope in these uncertain times. In Jesus' name we pray, as he taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, if you don't remember anything else, please remember this. Fear not. 365 days of this year. And God bless you. Amen.